Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new episode of Mystery Box Monday. I hope you're having a great start to your week. We're going to get things started off today with this blue box. We've got about six or seven total Mystery Boxes we're going to be ripping open. And if you have something that you'd like to send to us for Mystery Box Monday, you can send it to this address. We'll get it opened up. Attention Mystery Box Monday, P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA 15676. And it'll be featured on an upcoming episode. So thanks, everybody that sends stuff in week after week. Let's check out this note from Bull City. It says, hello, Jabs and family. You're one of the handful of baseball content creators I follow and enjoy watching regularly. Mystery Box Monday is one of my favorite series as it shares what other collectors have picked up over time and are willing to share through various mystery products. I appreciate what you do for the hobby, especially for folks like us, sharing something with others to enhance the, their experience. I recently developed a new product called the Bull Box, a mystery box with an assortment of packs and singles to provide a unique offering. The Bull Box Baseball Series 1 contains 8 to 12 packs and 3 to 5 singles, and it's 50 bucks. The following is the configuration, and each box is different. There's 4 to 5 premium packs. There's 3 to 5 blaster packs or retail packs. There's 1 to 2 vintage packs, which will probably be from the 80s or 90s. 1 to 2 bonus packs and 3 to 5 top-loaded singles, and you're guaranteed at least one rookie patch Auto, autograph, relic, serially numbered card, and non-numbered parallel, etc. No base card. Says so thanks for sharing this product. Now, if you like what you see here, the eBay code is going to be this. It's 314-796-435747. Or you can scan that QR code and it should take you there as well. But type that in. It'll bring it up. There's 11 of these made up of the Bull City blue boxes all right here we go it's a 50 dollar box there you see it has the little logo right there pretty nice all right let's see what we have for our pack so it's gonna be some packs and also some top loaded cards what do we got it says hobby back hobby packs are facing backwards we'll also be able to tell the hobby packs because they have an h on them but there's a retail pack of series two You've got a hobby pack of Topps Chrome. I guess this one's probably a light pack, and this one's going to be a hobby pack. We've got another hobby pack of Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary, a bonus pack as well in there. That's going to be a blaster pack. No H on that one. Here's our little hit pack. Vintage packs are going to be 89 Bowman along with 2,000 Tops. Then we've got a uh, Series 1 pack along with a Fire Pack and a Topps Chrome pack pack as well these are all retail packs it looks like so let's go ahead and rip these open and see what we can find we'll start off with some chrome and see if we can get lucky and maybe find an otani or a cunha even though otani's out for the year still likely going to win the mvp award nothing going on in that one here's a 2022 fire pack maybe hit a j-rod by the way julio rodriguez is a 30 30 guy after such a slow start to his season he has 30 home runs down like what 36 stolen bases hitting 280 something having a fantastic season unfortunately we did not find him here's the blaster pack from series one there's a royal blue in there ronald acuna jr stars of mlb nothing else good on there and we have a blaster pack retail pack here of series two you always know you got retail if you're pulling stars of mlb cards in every pack see if we can find anthony volpe he's another guy who's quietly having a decent season batting average is low but over 20 home runs now for volpe and greg maddox i think he's a 2020 guy we'll do these throwback packs and we'll check out the hobby packs which are all platinum anniversary so there'll be a good chance of maybe at least a numbered card out of those so 89 bowman looking for ken griffey jr's rookie card Got Earl Hershiser in there. And uh, no Hall of Famers to speak of. Good old 2000 Tops featuring Big Mac on the front. Hopefully these don't stick together. And they are sticking together a tad bit. You can hear that crispy, crunchy sound. That means they're sticking. That's why I'm always so terrified to open anything from this time period. From, oh, I don't know, maybe like 98 through... 2003 or so, typically the cards always stick and just get completely ruined. Nothing really going on in there. Oh, let's do these 
packs now, Platinum Anniversary. Start off with this one. This is it's a bonus pack. It's going to be from a blaster box. So there's a couple extra cards, five cards there instead of four. There's Jesse Winker. And nothing numbered there. Let's check out these hobby packs. We'll just super rip it to save a little bit of time. The next pack is also a $50 pack. The next mystery box that we'll be featuring here. So let's start with a couple $50 packs. We do have a numbered card at least in this Bull City box. One thing I hate about Platinum Anniversary is a lot of the cards are always flipped every which way. It makes it a little bit tough to go through. There's the numbered card. It's Luis Garcia. It'll be an orange numbered out of 75. I guess a rose gold out of 75. Not too bad there. Only one numbered card out of those packs, unfortunately. But here we go with these five bonus hits. Edward Julian. You'll likely see his rookie card in update, I would imagine. So he's been playing the big leagues all year. Got MJ Melendez, Refractor, Gavin Sheets out of 250, and Xander Bogarts is numbered to 175. So there you have it. That's the Bull City Box. We're going to move on to the next one. This one came in last week. We decided to save it for today. It's called the Fairport Fanatics Packs. So let's check this out. It's a $50 pack. It's going to include no filler cards, two higher-end packs, multi-sport, one to two lower-end packs, one mystery card. When you purchase can select what sport you want. So I guess maybe you could just select baseball. I guess um, maybe it's oh, they're all mixed together. Or maybe it's just baseball. I don't know. We'll see. It says guaranteed return on investment. So he's guaranteeing at least $50 in value back or more. There's 10 packs available on eBay. You can pay with Cash App on Instagram if you want to circumvent those eBay fees. Here's his contact information including the instagram and the ebay number where you'd find this is number 305-001-808-569 you type that in it should bring it right up so it's a 50 dollars pack let's see is it worth it mystery cards in a one touch all right so we'll save that for last this is higher higher i guess we'll start with the lower lower i guess that's the lower end stuff all right, so there'll be some parallels in here and some rookies. This is mostly stuff that you might find in a 10 center quarter box. It's a nice little Mike Trout base card. And now we're going to get to the higher end stuff. This is where we're really going to see if this really is worth $50 or more. Typically with a mystery pack, I would say the best mystery packs are going to give you about 1.5 what you paid for it. Mike Trout Bomb Squad card. We've got a Shoyo Otani 2019 Big League. That's also a parallel in that it is a yellow. Chipper Jones rookie card. Not too bad. 1991 Tops. Matt Chapman number card. Eduardo, Eduardo Rodriguez and a Dylan Cease, which will be a sepia from Tops Chrome 2020. All right, next pack up. This one is going to have a hit in it. I can see there's an autograph on the back. It says congratulations. I think it might be Jackson Joe. We'll see. If I can ever get this opened up, it is going to be the, what was he, number three overall pick in the draft a few years ago. There's an Acuna, Ahmed Rosario, short print of Jared Kelnick. The Rosario is numbered to 75. Hey, Duke Snyder, there we go. It's a Duke Snyder on-card autograph right there. I guess that might be an in-person auto. I've pulled Duke Snyder's stuff before. It does look to be a legit signature, which is pretty cool. I Unfortunately, I think the card has a crease in it right there at the top. If you see that, and let me show you, but it does appear to, you know, be a nice Duke Snyder autograph in person auto, super short of Carlos Rodon. And there's the Bowman Platinum Jackson Job. All right. So here's this mystery card. The last card of this $50 pack. You can let me know in the comments if you think you got the $50 back for this or not. It is going to be an autograph of Bubba Thompson from Big League. It's going to be an orange parallel Bubba Thompson auto in a one-touch. So there you have it, Duke Snyder. Probably the best card there. Unfortunately, with those in-person autos, always worth less because you can't really verify um, you know, that it was legit, but it does look to be legit. And I think this came in as well. Look at this. A thank you. It's a, it's a 62 Mickey Mantle card, which is pretty freaking awesome for a thank you gift right here. And uh, well, I thought it was real at first, but then 
I noticed the freaking 70 year tops logo there. That's one of those Mickey Mantle 2021 reprint cards. I was like, that can't be real in that condition. That would be worth hundreds of dollars. But still, thank you very much for sending that over. And that's the Fairport pack. All right, moving on to the next one. It's the TC Backwards. TC Wow Backwards pack. I didn't notice a note with this one, so I don't know if the note might be inside. But let's check it out. TC Wow Backwards. Let's rip it open and see what we can find. There's the note. It says, please open and read this. All right, so I was wondering if there was a note. Well, that answers it. All right, so it says, beware of cards sticking together. You may pass up really good rookies. Check every card. All right, since the cards are in penny sleeves, they are stuck together in some packs. Interesting. All right, let's check this out. Cards may be sticking. All right, so... Never have had this problem before with cards sticking together if they're in penny sleeves, but we'll make sure we don't miss anything. So let's see what we have in this. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to double check that. I don't think there's a price or anywhere we can even buy this at. Is there? It just says, please open and read this. We have this. I guess you could try to type in wow backwards pack and see if anything comes up on eBay, but always got to give us the, uh, got to give us the link so we can get the um you know product to come up and, and see what it is We've got daniel roberts right there alec bohm uh kurt stillwell in a sleeve this is it's a three dollar <laughs> three dollar card i guess kurt stillwell signed it and wrote 1988 all-star himself i guess on there with the inscription i think that one might be a bit fishy i don't uh I don't know. I'm always a little bit, you know, suspicious of in-person or through the mail autographs because when I was a kid, when I was eight years old, I used to do, I used to sign the card and pretend like I had an autograph. So um, I never know. There's Travis Ishikawa, Steve Avery. That's an in-person auto. And there's literally money in here. <laughs> what? It's a cash hit. That's new to these uh, packs. A cash hit. How about that? Cash hit auto of Bill Landrum. I'll tell you what. When, if given a choice of a Bill Landrum auto and five bucks, I'm taking the five bucks. And I was a former Pirates fan. Well, I, not former. I'm a former Pirates fan of the 90s. I still am a Pirates fan. But, um, man, that's a pretty cool little, you know, insert in there. Cash money hits. You don't see that ever. So that's something pretty interesting i'd love to read the uh read the whole description here to see like are there bigger cash money hits to look out for there's a barry larkin rookie card and there's you darvish rookie card andre simenez glaber torres who has got the best batting average on the yankees in their starting lineup j rod rookie card o'neill cruz tatis prospect card jeremy pena Jackson Holiday first. This pack's been very good with lots of good ones. There's Paul Goldschmidt as well and Darren Baker. So, man, Paul Goldschmidt first Bowman. I would love to know how much these cost and where you can buy them at. So, if you want to get in the comments there, um, if the owner of TC Wild Backwards will get in the comments and let us know exactly where you can buy this at. Here's pack number two. Let's see what we've got. It's got a thank you pack right there. So here we go. We'll start off with the rookies and parallels. We've got Jordan Walker right there, J-Rod. So definitely some nice rookies in there. Todd Helton and Travis Lee, 1998 top rookies. Larry Walker rookie card. Jorge Soler rookie card. Alec Bohm rookie. Jake Berger having a big home run season. There is Brian Reynolds, rookie card. Wander Franco, Richie Sexton. David Ortiz, prospect card. Ronald Acuna Jr., prospect card is a nice one as well. Upside down, short print. It's going to be Pedro Leon from Heritage Miners. And we've got a Henry Davis, Chrome, Gunnar Hogland, First, Sapphire, Bobby Witt, and Jason Dominguez. So definitely some nice names in there. And here's the hit pack. we got... Yvonne Rodriguez right there along with Ronald Acuna Jr. 
I can see some of these are sticking together a little bit, but I haven't. I don't think I've missed any yet. There's Brent Rooker. We've got a numbered Jan Santana. There's Casey Mize. Hey, that's a nice one. Wade Boggs from Don Russ Greats. Game used jersey card. We've got Will Bednar in there as well, former first round pick out of 99. Ian Happ autograph. There's a Manny Moda in person auto, 73 tops, and Don Robinson as well. So I wish I could tell you where to buy those at and how much they cost, but I don't have that information. It wasn't included in the note. And how about this? We got a thank you pack. It says, you've got to be kidding me, a 30 cent. It is a Mark Grace card. Oh, boy. Mark Grace from the uh, – that's a reference to when I pulled the Mark Grace redemption out of – the world's greatest pack chase. I pulled a redemption card. I was expecting a big card. And it was a 30 cent Mark Grace card. It wasn't this one. It was the Fleer. But Mark Grace, 88 tops traded. Don't see that one every day. And love the Barry Bonds rookie card. So thank you very much. A cool pack. Wish I could tell you where to buy that and how much it was. So get in the comments, TCY backwards, and let us know exactly where to go to get one of those. On to the next one. This one here is a, a light blue pack. Let's see exactly what it is. It's called The Better Mega by Golden Central. It says, hey, Jabs, I'm the creator of the King's Crowns mystery pack from a few months ago, and I had really good reviews with people wanting more, so I thought I would make a cheaper alternate version for 50 bucks. There isn't a set amount of packs because I'm making them as I go to ensure each one is the best as possible. The buying options are only through Instagram. The username is golden underscore central 35 on Instagram. The packs will 100% return your value and some even doubling. That's what we like to hear. Every 10 sets of packs will have one slab that will have the value of the pack with still the normal pack. So that's pretty awesome. What, $50 slab plus more. These packs will include 10 rookies, five prospects, one short print, three parallels, two autos. And you got to hit them up on Instagram at golden underscore central 35 if you like what you see. So... He is guaranteeing at least a return of 50 bucks, and many will have more. That says hits on it. It's kind of faded, tough to see, but let's check it out. The Golden Central Pack on this Mystery Box Monday, jam-packed, filled with cards. Let's see what we've got. By the way, tomorrow, just a quick little update. It's Tuesday. Team Break Tuesday will be back tomorrow. I hope you can participate or at least watch it. We'll be breaking open some more pristine. That's what reminded me of it, along with a whole bunch of Bowman Chrome and other stuff. There's Jordan Walker, Corbin Carroll. There's Luis Robert. Hey, a Vladdy rookie card as well. This is a pretty good start. Very nice cards to start off with this $50 pack. Not a lot of, not, not any junk at all. No base Bryson Stott, Rookie Refractor, Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Witt Jr., J-Rod, and Pete Alonso, Rookie. Fantastic. Great selection. I love the fact that you're not giving us any B or C-level rookies, all big-name rookie cards and prospects so far. And the stars, we got Ronald Acuna Jr. That is a Pete Alonso short print right there. His Gold Cup short print. Fantastic. Jackie Robinson and Willie Mays, both numbered from Platinum Anniversary. And then these might be prospects. Prospect pack, a Sapphire Victor Acosta, Christian Vaquero, first Bowman Chrome, Yasser Mercedes, first Bowman, Brian Acuna, and Roderick Carius. These were some of the bigger names from Bowman Chrome last year. Some of the best prospects in that run. And we also have the hit pack right here as well. It's going to, wow, an autograph of Roderick Arias right there. That's a nice one. Good prospect. From Bowman's Best, along with Oswald Parasa from the Yankees, rookie, pristine relic auto. And it might be numbered. It is out of 50. So for 50 bucks, if I got this for 50 bucks, I'd be really happy with it. I definitely think that's over $50 in value. Again, if you want to check them out on Instagram, golden underscore central 35. And, um, you know, he's guaranteeing more. So I would say, hey, man, if you're guaranteeing at least $50 or more, I'm in. And you might be thinking, well, it's on Instagram. So what if he doesn't come through? Well, you pay with PayPal. Then you, you know, you pay goods and services. And if you get a pack worth 10 bucks, then you file a claim and uh, get your money back. That's what I would do. So uh, that seems awesome. If they're all like that, I think that's a winner. All right, next one up. 
This one is called the, I don't know, the, let's see what the name is. It's called the, I don't even know if it has a name, Eric S's Packs. Let's see what we have. It says, hey Jabs, my name is Eric and I'm a big fan of your channel. I love watching your breaks and Mystery Box Monday videos. I'm also a Patreon subscriber. And thank you very much for being a Patreon member. It says, watching your videos has got me back into collecting baseball cards again after more than 25 years. Seeing some of the cards out there reminds me why I loved collecting when I was a kid. Your Mystery Box Monday videos have pushed me to create my own Mystery Boxes to sell on eBay. And I've made 41 boxes, one for you and 40 to sell on eBay. After making all 41 boxes, I let my daughter randomly pick one to send to you. Each box contains two packs, one pack of prospects and rookies and one pack of parallels and inserts. There's one guaranteed auto and one guaranteed numbered or relic card. Each prospect and rookies pack contains 10 prospects and 15 rookies. Most cards are from 2022 and 2023, Tops and Bowman products. Some really nice cards that can be found are going to be listed right there. You can read through those. And one in three um, parallel inserts and hits packs will contain a bonus auto. The boxes are 25 bucks, and if you want to grab one, you go here. Go to eBay, type in this number. I'll read it off for you if you can't see it. 335 Zero two six five three nine one two eight, and that should bring it up if there's any inventory left. So let's check it out. It is the twenty five dollar pack. We'll start off with, well, I guess I should start off with the prospect and rookies because the best stuff is probably going to be in the hits pack. So we'll do this one first for twenty five bucks. Let's see what you get. Here's the prospects. Going to get some firsts and also. Some prospect Bowman. There's Gunnar Henderson, Drew Jones. There's Calvin Ziegler and Jace Young. And here's rookies. Let's check their rookies out right now. I see a Riley Green on top. From Bowman, there's Michael Harris, which is a good pick. Joey Benessis. We've got Vidal Brujan in there, another Riley Green. There's Hunter Green, Corbin Carroll, Nick Lodolo. Jake McCarthy, J.P. Sears, and and Aaron Ashby from Alan Ginter, which is coming out very soon. So Alan Ginter will have that for you on the channel this week. So get ready. It's going to be a fun week if you like your weirdo cards. Here's the hit pack. We have Vinny Pasquantino. That's a refractor rookie. Riley Green will be a pink rookie card. We've got a Showtime right there, a mini of Bryson Stott, Ken Griffey Jr., which appears to be a blue parallel from Don Russ. An autograph of Jose Miranda, which is a nice one right there. Alan Ginter, Jose Miranda Auto. I like that one. Camilo Doval. Closer of the Giants. Game used jersey and Ezekiel Tovar out of two ninety nine. So if you like what you see there, they're $25 a piece. If you want to give one a try on eBay, just type in that eBay code I gave you. Thank you very much for sending that over, Eric. And now we're down to our last one of the day. It is going to be a, um, I don't know the name of this. We'll see what we got. Let's check this out right now. It is, hi, is what it says. Sorry, I got distracted. My daughter's calling me um, about soccer practice. We got soccer practice tonight. I'm giving her a ride, so I'll give her a um, uh, call back here in just a minute. It says, hi, I'm a long-time subscriber. I realized that I had a lot of extra parallels, relics, autos, etc. So I decided to put together some mystery packs. My first goal was to try to pack a lot of value into these packs at a low price. So each pack will have one auto, one relic, two numbered cards, and 16 parallels for a total of 20 cards. The price is 15 bucks. To be completely upfront, the relics and autos are not necessarily going to be big players, although there's some really cool cards. But for the numbered and parallels, I only tried to include stars or good names, bigger rookies, and tried to avoid the filler altogether. The cards are mainly divided, or mainly from the past couple of years, and they are randomly divided, and I picked a random pack to send to you. I wanted to make sure expectations are reasonable. Don't expect a $50 autograph in these packs. But for the price, $15 of a hanger box, I think there's some value and fun here. One team bag will have four hits. The other bag will have some parallels. Let us know what you think. And the eBay code is 335 zero two four one five six eight five three so there you go 15 bucks let's check it out price of a hanger box looks like there's actually two team bags that were taped together here let's start off with the um non-hit pack first and see what we have so you're seeing your parallels mj melinda's purple right there 
We've got Vladdy Rainbow Foil, Hunter Green Rainbow Foil. There's a Dylan Carlson Refractor, Jim Bunning, George Brett. So that's a bunch of parallels, and most of you will probably like, you know, or find the value in the hits here. Jin Ryu, game used jersey, maybe about a three dollar card. Rodolfo Castro, autograph. Back when he was with the Pirates from Diamond Kings, we got a number Miguel Cabrera and Matt Manning. That's a pretty nice one right there. A rookie Matt Manning. It's a red from UK, numbered to ninety nine. So if you want to try one of those for fifteen bucks. About the price of a blaster box, get a couple guaranteed hits. Check them out on eBay, and that's all we have for you for right now. So, thank you very much for watching. Tomorrow we'll have a live stream with Team Break Tuesday. Lots of live breaks going on, so if you want to grab some spots, you can head on over to Patreon. We sell all of our spots there. And we'll also have a new release preview video coming for you a little bit later this week for Alan and Ginter. And as always, we'll have a video for you every day. So thanks for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.